Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a photo collage template just like this. Now this is a template, so it's very easy to just replace one or two images in it and get an image just like this. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy and it's pretty quick. If you want to use the same background as I used, I'm giving you a link to download it from a site called Morg File. These images are free to download. I have it open here and I have open here the image that I'm going to use for the collage. I need to put this image into the other one. So with the Layers panel open, I've got Window Layers here to open it. I'm going to right click on the background layer here and choose Duplicate Layer. From this document list here, I can select one of the open images as the target for this layer. This is the one I want to send it to, so I'll click there and click OK. If we go back to our little girl image, you'll see here that this background has now landed on top of this image. So I'm just going to size the background to suit. It can be a little bit smaller. Now it's really important that the girl is on a layer below this background and that this layer is a background layer. So for example, if you had it where it was a regular layer, you're going to need to convert it to a background layer. To do that, you'll select it and choose Layer, New, Background from Layer. And that just makes it the background layer. It's something that you very seldom use in Photoshop. It, you quite often don't want an image to be on the background layer, but here we absolutely do need it to be there. I'm going to add a new layer to the image just by clicking on the new layer icon here. And I'm going to make my frame. I'm going to do that using the rectangle marquee tool. And I'm going to hold the shift key as I drag out a square. That's going to be the center of my frame. And then because I have black as my background color here, I'm going to press Control backspace, Command Delete on the Mac to fill this with black. Now I can go ahead and create my white frame. I'm going to click again on the new layer icon, but this time I'm just going to move it behind the black one because it's going to be a little easier to draw that way. Again, I'm going to the rectangular marquee tool, and this time I'm going to drag out the white frame. So what I'm looking for is a narrow border around this black area and a little bit of extra weight at the bottom because that's what Polaroid frames typically look like. When I've made my shape, I can fill it with the foreground color, which is white. Alt Backspace, Option Delete on the Mac. At this point, you can just fine tune things. So if you need to move or to reshape this shape, you can do so now. I don't need to, so I'm pretty happy with the shapes that I have. You'll need to select both these layers, so click on one and shift click on the other so that they're both selected. And then click here on the Create New Group icon. And that puts both these layers in a group together. Now that's pretty important for a couple of reasons. One is that we want to move these two layers together so that they always travel together. It also just makes organizing things a little bit easier. So now I'm ready to go ahead and to make some settings for this group. So I'm going to open the group up and I need to go to this black layer first. And I'm going to click here on the FX icon and choose Blending Options. Now this is pretty critical, this step, because if this doesn't work, then things haven't been set up correctly. Because what we're going to do is we're going to punch out a hole that is the size of this black square. And we're going to punch it through the entire image until we get to the background layer. And then we're going to stop. So we're going to do two things here. First of all, we're going to set the fill opacity of this black square to nothing at all. So that we're not filling it with color. And then we're going to choose from the knockout drop down list here, deep. And when you do that, see what happens. You can see the image at the very bottom of this layer stack through the black shape that we created. Now you can see that the black shape and the white shape aren't very well separated from each other. If you wanted to, you could create something like a very small inner shadow. So you could select here on the inner shadow and just apply a very small inner shadow so that you would see the effect of the frame around the inside image. We'll do that and click OK. And now on this white shape, we want to add a drop shadow. So with the white shape selected, click the FX icon, choose Drop Shadow. And we're just going to add a small white shadow. And this one looks pretty good, so I'm really happy with those settings. Just choose the settings that work for you. 
I do like the angle to be 135, so the sun looks like it's coming in this direction. But as far as distance and spread and size, it's really up to you. And the opacity will adjust how dark it is, so it'll be blended in with the underlying texture a little bit more if the opacity is a little bit higher. So I'll click OK. I'm going to close down my group. So this is the first piece in my collage. All I need to do now is to copy it and move it. So I'm going to grab the entire group and drag it onto the new layer icon. And that duplicates the whole group. Now I want this to appear underneath the first one. So I'm just going to move it down the layer stack and position it between group one and the background copy, well that background that we're using, and then let go. So that rearranges these. What that is going to mean is that this topmost group is going to be the one, the frame on the very top of our image. So now I'm going to go and get the Move tool. I'm going to select my Group 1 copy and I'm going to move it out of position so that we can see it relative to the other shape. And I can continue to move these shapes into position. And if I position myself just outside one of the corners of the shape, I can rotate it. If I rotate it, I'm going to need to click the check mark once I've finished. Go into this group one, and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, and then perhaps move it into position. And now I'm going to go and make a duplicate of this. So again, grabbing either of these shapes, dragging them onto the new layer icon, rearranging them so that this one is behind the other one, and then just moving it into position, and perhaps rotating it. Once you've rotated it, you'll need to click the check mark or press Enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this a few times, but I'm not going to speak so I can speed up the video just a little bit. Now that I've finished creating my photo collage, I can go ahead and save it. So I choose File and then Save As, and I want to save it as a PSD format file. The reason for this is that this is actually a template. We can reuse this at any time for another image. Let's see how we might do this. I have another image open here, and I'm going to duplicate this layer into the image that we were working on. I'll right click, choose Duplicate Layer, and I'm just going to target the image that we were working on a couple of minutes ago, and click OK. Now let's go back into this image. Here is the layer that I just brought in, but here is my current background layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a regular layer, because you can only have one background layer, and I'm going to move it above the one that I just brought in. So this is the image that I just brought in. All I need to do now is to make this the new background layer. Because it's the, the very bottom of the layer stack, I can do that. I'll click it, choose Layer, New, Background from Layer. And now you can see that our collage is working with our new image. All we need to do is to put one image at the very bottom of the stack, make it a background layer, and all of a sudden we have the collage that we created. And this is still fully editable, so I can go to any of these frames and I can just reposition them just by dragging them into a new position and they'll rotate. And this layer, of course, could also be replaced, so you could choose a different background here. You just want to make sure that you put it in below all of the frames, but above your background layer. So that's as easy as it is to create your own photo frame collage effect in Photoshop. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.